Oh, hello, welcome back to my channel. We've got some more MetaZoo Tops Wilderness Collection boxes to open. Absolutely love collecting these sets. Um, picked these two boxes up for £25 each. Um, not too bad. Wouldn't pay any more of that because um, I haven't weighed them yet because you're not going to get any of the first sighting cards because people are too much on it. Um, so, But if you just want to collect the base set, which that's what I want to do, then £25 delivered to your door is not a bad price. Um, you'll probably get a hollow in there, but if you, um, you're looking for a first sighting or to make a profit, just forget it. Um, but having said that, let's see what we... Um, what the weights are let's get our scales in the uh, camera there just closely and we'll go for each pack and we'll see what we can get so once again please subscribe like and comment so first box here's it weighs 93 so that's a uh, 93.89 so that's uh lower than my um last box that i got in two boxes let's just weigh that one as well this one was, oh, this one's 90. So this is box four. So that weighs 90. So it's a little bit heavier. Um, I think clearly these probably been weighed, um, yeah, before they're shipped out because people are too, too clocked onto it. So nevertheless, let's get underway. Let's see what we get out of here. Let's see if we can get some good cards. Bit of a, um, it, let's prove me wrong, eh? See if we can to go get a first sighting from a, a uh, light box, but I doubt it. I don't think you can even get numbered cards. What's that? A little bit of blue. There, so there you go. There's all all the packets. So the fourth one packet, you usually get your hollow in. So away we go. Let's just put them there. Let's get on the way. So we've got a 14 point from there, 14 point three zero. There we go, let's see what we can get. I'm going to put these all into my folder. I've got a lovely uh, Vault X little green folder. And uh, we'll stick them in there. So we've got, here we go. So we've got Nightmare Creatures. Oh, sorry, Night Marcher, sorry. Hateful Demis, that's pretty smart indeed. Frogman's Reveal. Explosive Rabbit, wow, look at that. There's some information on the back there as well. Sorry. I won't do the rest of the card, but i uh, turn them over. Dublin Lake Monster, looks pretty smart. Some information on the back there, people do like to see. So we've got a couple of rares there. The golds there, so lovely. That's a very haunting card, that's white. <coughs> Screamer, superb. There we go, and if you want to read it up on that, there we go. So let's get our next packet. So what we're weighing at, that's uh, exactly the same weight. Oh no, 14, that's 14. Point three six. Let's see what we can get. So, if you're interested in the weights, there you go. Like I say, you're pretty. I'm pretty unlikely to get a first sight, and I'd love to. And the only way I'll probably do it is if I wait for the next. Um, you go information release that tops do with this metazo. So we go scorching rod seagull. That looks pretty smart. That's a nice card. Cryptic cloud shapes. Love the artwork to this. No hollow yet. Rubberido, is that? The Phantom Jogger of Canyon Hill. It's pretty cool. And then we've got the Fur Bearing Trout. <laughs> a bit funny. There you go. So there we go from that pack. There we go. Let's get the next pack open. What does that weigh in? Uh, it's all coming around about the same sort of weight, so that's 14.29. But like I say, if you just want to collect a lovely set and you can pick these up for £25, it's worth it. But I wouldn't pay on C anymore unless you get someone that don't really know about MetaZoo but in this Tops collaboration. But most people that bought it bought hundreds, of, like I don't know, bo like bulk boxes of it. So they just got loads of it, weigh them all and whip out the good cards, sell them and just sell all the old well all the uh, ones that are not going to make them money so there you go that's nice shibby book what's that shibby bigfoot pretty cool i don't know if you can even get a numbered card so there you go turbo charge there we go look at that lovely that's nice chapter six cover 
that's, a, that's another thing. Um, I know they do magazines for this um, MetaZoo, but um, I can't seem to locate Five and Six magazine. If anyone's got any information on that, I'd love to know. Please comment below and tell me. There we go. Uh, that's the information there. That's lovely. I like that. Frost Elemental. And we've got Beaver Shark. And then Banshee of the Badlands. That looks absolutely fantastic. And there we have it. There we go. Pretty cool indeed. So this one here, let's turn these scales back on. This is going to be our heavy packet. That's going to have our um, uh, hollow in it. I can guarantee you that. So 50, yeah, 15. So 4 is 15.92. There we go. There we go. Let's see what hollow we get. Be good if it was a uh, first item, but I doubt it very much. Here we go. It's a shame. Uh, also, MetaZoo done this like absolutely messed it up. Or perhaps they didn't really care. They don't. You know, they sell all the cards um, on their um, website. I ain't worried about the second um, hand market. Why would they be? They made like loads of money from initially selling them. So there we go, Dear Woman. That's absolutely fantastic. That's a uh, holo. There we go. Starlight Seagull. That's show you the information on the back there. A red ghost uh, Polaroid. There we go. We've got lizard people. There we go. We've got Pennsylvania. Something like that. Uh, Python. And Spook Light. There we go. That's that pack. Now, last card packet. This will contain a red card in it. Uh, why they've done that, I don't really understand. I don't think many people. I think there's all bit. So this one's five sixteen point five four. Well, I think everyone was a bit amused by it, really. So here we go. <coughs> Let's get this open. There we go. Waste of a tree. Putting that in. I've done a while. They've done that. There you go. Stone eating. Calagus, so go. Where did I put my rare? Seafood barbecue, already got that one. Be putting these all in my folder once we've finished. There we go, Proton Beam. Friendly Snowman. I'd say if I can pick these up for around 20, 25 pounds, I'll probably buy some more uh, just for the fun of opening them. But not for any more. You both, honestly, please. Don't waste your money spending any more on them. Um, I can still, they're still seeing for £70 a box. It's like, really? And if you buy, you're going to be disappointed. Just don't bother. Right, let's get on to the next box. So this way, 94.02 grams. Let's get it open. Let's see what ones we got. That's going to go on for a little bit longer, this video, because I want to get, just get both boxes open. Um, I was going to do it into two videos, but nah, I'm not going to bother. Because it's probably one of my last MetaZoo uh, box openings for a while. I don't think I'll, I probably won't start um, collecting anymore. I've got a few bits. Get rid of that. So I've got a few bits that I've uh, got in my seal collection. Um, please, if you want to have a look at it, just go back to the other um, videos that I've got. Um, also, looking out to get the old magazines. Um, I think that'd be a pretty good uh, investment. I think the first um, first uh, chapter, first print, there was only a thousand printed of them. One down media there is left in the world. Let's see. Let's get these packets open. Let's see what we can get out of these ones though. So let's go. Let's first packet. It's going to be about, I reckon, about 14.3. Yeah, well, 40, yeah, not bad, does it? Guess. So 14.27. There we go. Let's open this, let's see what we can get. Let's hopefully my old uh, camera don't conk out halfway through. So we, here we go. We've got, I can't even pronounce it, LVD Eternity. There we go. There's information on the back. I love the quality of these cards, absolutely superb. So that's Living Earth Seagull. Oh, this is a nice card coming up. So it's pretty fantastic. Look at that, Mothman Warps. Pretty smart indeed. Like that, that's a pretty cool card. And that is a rare, so that's nice. Explosive rabbit, we've seen we've already pulled that. Let's get that a little bit more in the camera there. Didn't realize that was not in the camera. So, explosive rabbit, there's a bit of information, but we've already pulled that. And that already pulled the python. Molagon 
monster, looks nice, pretty smart indeed. There's information, <coughs> excuse me. Right, let's get this packet out. Gonna be about 14.3 again, exactly the same weight as my last one, 14.27. So this is just a few interesting the weights, so, and never mind. I think uh, at the moment, the UF, is it UFO sets coming out? Uh, probably buy um, booster box, might buy two, one to open, one to keep in my sealed collection. Because, um, I know, you never know. There we go, John Henry, with his uh, club hammer there, or clubber, or mallet, or whatever it is. There we go, Germinate. This card looks interesting. Next, looks really nice. So, Battle Over Love a Land Castle. That looks pretty cool indeed. Yeah, I do like that. This next card's pretty smart as well. Mad Gasser of Mattoon. Nice. Oh, do like that one. That's pretty cool indeed. There we go. Honey Island Swamp Monster. There we go. And Spear Finger. Already pulled that one. I know that. So there we go. So what we're going to go. What's our bet interest is going to be 14.27. No, if it, it's not because I ain't got the scales on. But anyway, let's get this one. 14 point. Oh, a little bit more. So 14 point. Three zero. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can pull. Let's see what we can get. Let's prove me wrong. You know, I don't think anyone has been. I've watched hundreds of these videos. Well, not hundreds. A lot of videos. That looks nice. Golden bear. Information on the back. Frozen spirit seagull. Chapter four cover. I've got chapter four cover. A magazine. I know that. Bill Dad. Glastonbury Glorwackus. There we go. Milford Smoons. Smoons. So there we go. Absolutely brilliant. Right. So this is going to weigh a bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is going to be 15.92, which we know because they're in the same order as they all are in the packets. It's totally pointless doing this. I really don't understand why they've done all the individual pack it pointless because you ain't going to be buying these separately if you do buy these separately you're throwing your money down the drain unless i said like say you you just want to collect it for the base set and you pick them up for a couple of quid so let's see what hollow we get in there let's see nice get rid of that the pink mess of goose greek lagoon that looks nice that is really nice card i do like that we go, some information on the back, we'll stick that up there next to our other hollow. There we go, wilderness. Cryptic Buster Group. Pretty smart. Unicorn. Here we go. Oh yeah, old grass man. Here we got the Swillville, the C Selbyville Swamp Monster. Get that in a bit better. And go pretty smart. And then our final packet. Let's wait just for a bit of fun. I can guarantee we've got a white red card in there. That is 16.51. 16.51. Pretty much the same. I can guarantee you there's a red card in it. Yeah, don't really understand. If anybody else can tell me why, I don't know. So there we go. Let's see if we can get a numbered card. I don't know if the numbered cards are thicker, heavier, what or what. But here we go. Janet, what's the Tavan de Vault? There we go. Midnight Lake Seagull. Oh, this next card's coming up. Pretty cool. Sam versus Bigfoot. That's nice. That's a uh, rare. That is pretty cool. There we go. That can be my front cover. There you go. Ah, cool card indeed. There we go, there we go, River Mermaid. Information on the back, Cumberland Spaceman. And there's information on the back and the Radioactive Hornets. And there you have it. 15 minutes long this video. Pretty good um, to open two boxes. Uh, but like I say, um, hope you enjoyed the clip. Please subscribe, like and comment. We'll see you next time. Probably be doing a lot more 